Welcome back fans of all things Disney and welcome to day four of our Vlogmas 2019. If you are new to the channel, this is my very first attempt at doing a Vlogmas here on the channel and I am so excited to be able to share some of our holiday season with all of you. The things that we'll be doing every day, we have two advent calendars. One of them is the one that is um, put out directly from Disney and the other one is a calendar that I kind of made up for myself with some mystery pin. So both of those will be some fantastic pin openings. And then we're also going to, as Christmas cards come in, we're going to try to open different Christmas cards from some of the subscribers as we are doing a bit of a Christmas card exchange. So if you think you would be interested in participating in the Christmas card exchange, just go ahead, look for that PO box information, send me a Christmas card. And then as soon as I receive yours, I will go ahead and drop one in the mail to you as well. So also we will have some other content and today I am so excited because I'm going to start a little bit of a mini series within the vlogmas series and that is going to be my Christmas village now it takes a while to put my Christmas village together I have an insane collection I started it just a few years ago but thanks to eBay I've been able to get some really amazing pieces for it and when I say insane I mean it is just ridiculous I have three Three solid totes just filled to the brim in each of those of different pieces some large some small and then I have three completely separate standalone sets uh, that are all Disney themed and they all kind of go out on the tables together but I will start today with the first few pieces it'll probably end up being I would say probably four different videos of just putting the Christmas Village together, maybe three of the individual pieces, and then the fourth one, maybe an overall reveal for you so you can all see what it looks like when it is all lit and completely decorated with the snow and everything like that. But we'll play all of that by ear. So the first thing that I have for us today, though, before I get to my Christmas Village, is I do have my Advent calendar. So I'll go ahead and I will start with the one that I purchased directly from Disney. This is a limited edition uh, Christmas 2019 Advent calendar. And what I love about this is you have your little drawers. So these will be able to be used. These are the pins I have already opened, but since it is the fourth day of Vlogmas, I'm gonna come over here to the fourth box and let's see what we get here. I have a feeling that they're going to try to do each window in order. So I'm hoping it is one of the Fab Five window pieces. Let's take a look and I will of course as always let you see it first. So that is the first piece. Awesome, look at that, they are definitely going in order. So this is the Minnie Mouse piece. I'll show you a close up there so that you can see it's so cute. And I will go ahead and add her, hello Iris. Hello. Also, if you are new to the channel, I have two amazing dogs, but they do get very excited whenever mom sits down to try to do any kind of a video. They like to participate. Um, so this is little Miss Iris. Honey, go, 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 go. Um, and so sometimes they knock things over, but they're part of the family. I can't shoo them away. But we'll go ahead and we will tuck our Minnie Mouse pin right here so that you can see her. And we are almost done with that window. Look at that, that is gorgeous. I love it. So, so far we have Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald. So really, really beautiful uh, scene is starting to set up. And what I've been doing is just putting the little pin backs right in one of the drawers so it's easy to hold on to. All right, let's tuck the drawer back in here and we will go on to the other advent calendar that I have. Now, this other one is one that I just kind of made with an advent calendar that I had, um, as well as some different Disney mystery pins, but today's pin is one that I actually ended up getting. It is one of the, I believe it's a limited edition pin, but it came on one of those $100 gift cards that Disney kind of puts out every holiday. So this one wasn't wrapped, but um, I did kind of mix them up and my daughter put them in the pouches so I didn't know which one I would be getting on day four. 
but I do have Little Miss Minnie Mouse and her hot cocoa. I was quite disappointed that I wasn't able to get any of those hot cocoa pin sets in the boxes, the mystery boxes, um, because I love that set and I would love to collect all of those, but I do have a Minnie Mouse hot cocoa, so that kind of makes up for that. So she will go into my pile of pins that will be going on to the Christmas pin board. So all in all, my advent calendars have been pretty awesome. I am very pleased with them and I cannot wait to see what I get in those tomorrow. But now we need to go ahead and we need to jump into the Disney Christmas Village. So come on over and I'll show you the first installment of our Disney Christmas Village. Okay, so first things first, I always start with the tablecloths and I have the white batting kind of on the top. You can sort of see through some of it because it's a little bit worn, but once all the snow is on there, it'll be absolutely beautiful. Notice the tablecloths don't exactly match, but that's okay. I didn't see any reason in changing those at this point. Um, because they do certainly go well enough together to where I don't worry about it. But let's start getting some pieces on the table. All right, so before I dig out any of the pieces, I have to make sure that I have all of my many, many extension cords. Those will all go under the table because, again, this is kind of crazy. And I normally like to just focus in on one tote at a time. So I think I will do this tote and then maybe two of the boxes in today's video. All right, so this very first piece is the Disney Frozen Castle that I have. I think I actually purchased this on Amazon. It was a pretty reasonable price, but one of the things that I like about it is that when these lights are all lit up, it casts kind of a blue, um, a little bit of a blue hue on everything, which makes it a little bit different than the other pieces. And I put that right in with the rest of my uh, Princess Village. Okay, so we already have our first casualty in putting together the Christmas Village. This is completely intact. However, the cord that attaches to it, um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I went to go ahead and put that together. And as you can see here, it kind of broke in two. So I'm gonna either have to order a replacement cord or hopefully I can find one somewhere. But uh, that one might not actually be all lit up when it's time for the big reveal, but that's okay. You get the idea of Elsa's palace. And as soon as I have that all lit up, I'll make sure that I share it with everyone. All right, so this next piece that I have is Mickey's Ear Factory. You can see that there. And one of the reasons that I love this piece as much as I do is my parents actually bought this for me. It was one of the very first pieces that my parents got for me once I started collecting this village. And because you know me and all the ears that I have, it just kind of speaks to me. And it was kind of the perfect piece for me to get. Let's get it out of the box. All right, and here she is out of the box, Mickey's Ear Factory. I'll try to show you as many of the little details as I possibly can. I just love this conveyor of the little ears as it's kind of spitting those out. And then over on the side, it's got that really, really cute um, create your own ears sign. And it's got its little flag up there at the top. It's just a precious, precious piece and one of my favorites actually. All right, so the next few pieces that I'm gonna open, these are actually part of a Disney uh, Lighted Porcelain Village set where you've got Cinderella's castle, Cinderella, and of course Prince Charming, and you have the carriage and Fairy Godmother. Then there is Beast's castle along with some of the supporting cast of characters there as well as Belle and Beast. And then there's also the Snow White hut and Snow White with some of the dwarves. But this box is not in great shape. I actually got this on eBay. I think it was a very reasonable price as well. Um, but the box is in horrible shape because of the age that it is. So I'm going to just pull all of these out and then I'll show you them individually. Okay, so these are all of the individual pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully pull those out. We'll start with Snow White Hut, and you can see there you've got some of the dwarves, you've got the glitter all over the hut. 
little Christmas trees. Uh-oh. I think this was one that we ended up having to cut the light out of last year because, of course, it had fallen down in and there was just no salvaging it. Then we have Cinderella's castle here. That is such a pretty castle. I'll show you all of the sides of it. And then let's see here, we have one more. This is, let's pull this out. Then we have Beast's Castle. And you can see just all those little distinctive features. And what I like to do is I put all of the, um, I put all of the castles, all of the princess pieces in the same general location as the frozen castle so that they can all kind of be together. Then there is a Christmas tree here. This used to light up. It doesn't do a great job of that anymore, but it is still a beautiful piece. And then let's take a look at some of the more delicate ones. So here's the carriage. You can see that there. I'll try to get out of the light for you. I'm always hesitant to take the smaller pieces out at this point just because there are so many of the bigger ones. And then you have, of course, Snow White and Grumpy. And then let's see here, what do we have? Belle and Beast. And then this piece is broken. I can't even tell you how many times, so I'm gonna be very careful with this. This is Pots and Chip. And then let's see here. We have the rest of the dwarves. I'll grab that. Rest of the dwarves with the Christmas tree. And then this one also has broken several times. I don't know. It must be that um, Beauty and the Beast set. All right. So this is Cogsworth and Lumiere. Having a little bit of holiday fun. And then Prince Charming and Cinderella here. And let's see. Oh, Fairy Godmother. All right, so Fairy Godmother's wand broke off. Um, and no matter what I do, I cannot seem to get that to stick on. So I'm going to try it one more time. And then if not, I'm just going to kind of bail on it. But So I'll have to fix her, but Fairy Godmother there. And then I'm going to pull the little flag out and that set will be ready. Okay, and then to round out my Princess Village set, I did find a Mulan ornament. I have not found like a Christmas Village piece for her. And I know I also have a Little Mermaid piece in one of these other boxes. But for her, she's kind of a standalone ornament, but she's going to be added to the Christmas uh, Princess Village set. And then I also found an ornament of Sven with those... Um, the Christmas lights kind of wrapped around the uh, antlers there. I just thought that that was adorable. So I'm going to add him into the Frozen Village set. Okay, and then this is my Little Mermaid set. As you can tell, it's in nowhere near as um, good a box as some of the others. But I do try to keep it as protected as possible. Purchased that for my daughter a couple of years ago because Ariel was one of her favorites and she wanted something for the Christmas Village. I also have little Olaf that'll go in the frozen one, as well as Elsa and Anna. But I think I'm gonna keep those three figures in their boxes for right now and just get the lighted house or castle for Ariel out. Okay, and there you can see little Miss Ariel, as well as Flounder and Sebastian and the castle. And we'll get that all lit up and show you when we're all done. Okay, and then one last set, just because I wanted to show you this one today. I have my 100 Acre Wood set. You've got Winnie the Pooh and the gang um, with Mr. Sanders' house. You've got the Christmas tree. And then, of course, I believe that this is um, Kanga and Rue's house. But just a really, really cute piece. So we'll get that out. All right, so on this one, you've got little Eeyore and Rue and Tigger uh, 
ice skating, which is just adorable. This one is Winnie the Pooh and of course Piglet there getting the garland ready to go on their tree, which does light up. Then here's poor Mr. Rabbit. Now Rabbit has broken in several spots and there's just unfortunately, I don't know that there's much fixing him, but he's missing an ear and a hand and it's just poor Rabbit, poor Rabbit. But then here we have uh, Kanga and Rue's house. You can see there with a the little fence and their decorations. And then here we have Mr. Sanders' house. And that also lights up. And then over here, there's like a little bit of a tent that is all set up. And this is, let's see here. This is for Eeyore. Let's turn that back around. Okay guys, so that is about all I'm gonna take out of the boxes for today's uh, little installment of our Disney Christmas Village. Tomorrow I will get into several more boxes and uh, we'll try to get at least halfway done in tomorrow's. And then hopefully by the end of day three, everything will be out and ready to be fully decorated and lit. Hopefully I'll have enough time to be able to locate one of those um, electrical cords to plug in my Elsa castle. I still can't believe that happened. Um, but then we'll be able to do a final reveal of everything all put together and fixed and lit up and with snow all over the place. So you'll get to really experience it. So hopefully you enjoyed the Christmas Village. Until our next video. Bye-bye.